Hey, Twisted Friends. Um, I'm in my car and the lighting is poo because I'm in a parking garage. Let's see if I can adjust this a little bit. But um, I am just killing a little time before I go in for an MRI arthrogram of my shoulder because my shoulder is still really bothering me and I'm over it. I'm so over it. Um, and I've had this done before, um, after I tore the cartilage to shreds many years ago. And, um, it's like, okay, so they need to look at like the cartilage and the tendons and stuff, but since cartilage gets barely any blood flow, that's why it's white, they can't use, um, intravenous dye that just goes into your veins um they have to in directly inject dye into the socket of my shoulder and then it goes and it like dyes the the cartilage um so that they can see it and that sounds way worse than it is um believe me it sounds horrifying but it's really not that bad. You, like, they'll have me, like, lay under this machine that, like, will give them, um, an inside view of my shoulder so they know exactly where they're going. And they start off with lidocaine and they go, like, kind of shallow, inject a little bit of lidocaine, let that kick in, go a little deeper, more lidocaine, um, et cetera, et cetera, until they get down into the joint <clears throat> and then you know, they give that a minute or two to kind of do its thing, kick in, whatever. And so by the time they get to the dye, like, you're totally numb. Um, and really don't feel it at all. And um, afterward, after the lidocaine wears off, like, I remember being a teeny bit sore just from, uh, you know, the injections. But it really didn't hurt afterward, you know, like, as much as you'd think it would. Um, and just, it felt just kind of a little weird, but not, like, painful. So, I'm not, like, I'm not worried about this, you know, at all. I'm not stressed out about it. The only thing that sucks is that it's an MRI, so, like, you can't have any metal on you whatsoever, um, because it's magnetic, which means I have to change into, like, hospital issue clothes, which I hate, Anybody who spends a decent amount of time in the hospital and, you know, getting x-rays and blah, 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 like, I don't know, like, I just have this complete and total aversion to, like, having to change out of the clothes that I like and that I'm comfortable in, um, like, when I'm in the hospital, just, you know, for my regular CF stuff, like, when I'm admitted, I wear my own clothes I insist on it. Um, I, if I can at all help it in any way, shape, or form, I do not wear hospital gowns. I hate them. They, ugh, I just, I don't know. I maybe it's from just spending so much time in hospitals and stuff. If if I can possibly avoid hospital issue clothes, I will. So I don't know. For honestly, for me that having to change my clothes is the worst part of this whole procedure and I had to like take all of my jewelry off I left it at home like took my earrings out even though they're titanium which is a non-ferrous metal so it won't they won't be affected like the techs will still freak out if they see earrings um just the earrings that I leave in all the time um and luckily though I do have a 100% acrylic barbell for my tongue eh, all plastic um but even if I didn't you know taking out my barbell for half hour hour whatever would be fine I've had this piercing for seven years so I mean it's not gonna close in the matter of a couple hours I had to take it out before for um surgeries and like when I get bronchoscopies in my lungs and it's always been fine I've always been able to get it back in no problem so I'm um, I'm yeah 
like I said, the worst part of this for me is having to change out of my clothes that I love. And the last time I had an MRI at the same place, I it was for an MRI of my brain after I started having seizures. And I specifically wore like yoga pants and a t-shirt and like a sports bra. Like, you know, I even wore my slippers. So there's like not even any metal in my shoes and they still made me change. And I was like, this isn't my first rodeo. I know how this is done. Okay. And they still made me change. So this time I just wore jeans because they're going to make me change anyway. Whatever. So yeah, um, I guess I will head in now and um, I will let you guys know how it goes. So see you in a bit. Hey guys, so MRI is done. It all went fine. <clears throat> um, like I said, the whole injection and everything sounds way worse than it is. Um, my shoulder just feels kind of like heavy and awkward right now because they injected it full of lidocaine and other fluids. So there's like a bunch of extra fluid in there right now. And throughout the day that feeling will go away as my body like absorbs the, the fluids and stuff. And I'll probably be a little bit sore once the lidocaine wears off but you know fully expected that. As I said it takes about 24 hours for the radiologist to uh, look at it and write their report and send it off to my doctor. So hopefully um, I will hear from my doctor tomorrow afternoon about the results and we'll go from there and see what needs to be done. So yeah, um, that's about it. Um, I'm very hungry, so I'm going to go find some lunch and it's cold so soup sounds really good to me i don't know where to get soup around here though guess that's what google's for right so anyway yeah um once i hear from the doctor i will update you guys on what's up with this shoulder and what the next steps are um at this point like i'm kind of hoping they find something wrong that's fixable because i'm tired of it hurting i'm tired of being in pain i'm tired of not being able to do some of the things that I want to do, you know? So, yeah, um, I'm just, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. So, um, I will see you guys later. I hope you have an awesome day. Bye. From my numb shoulder.